That's my brother and his gang in the back making the moose sounds. But these cows over here are having to swim. We're not far down in for the put in. Actually. There's a couple people up ahead of us. They're kayaking, yeah, they got kayaks. And my wife, he's making an attempt to fish. Get you a little while. Give me a minute to film this. Here we are at uh, Route 7, a little bit of rapids on the left. Couple people fishing here. Mainly smallmouth, some bluegill. Nice little sandbar. And Route 7 Bridge is right there. And we're heading down river. I had to get the poles readjusted. Jenna Jenna. Well, this made for a video. But here's my daughter Jenna drinking fruit sippy. She's been wanting to swim, so as soon as I wrap up here, we're going to be taking another quick swim. So took a little quick dip with my brother. <clears throat> right now, we're on a little split on the river. It's my wife, Jenny, and my canoe. Coleman 158. I'm sorry, Coleman, not Coleman. Old Town uh, Discovery 158. And uh, my wife, Jody. Barring some boat seats. I really like them. We'll probably be going to... Uh, Gander or Day Sporting Goods or something like that. I think we have a set of seats. I really like them. They're working out pretty cool. You kick back the lax and paddle and everything. Lisa and Sam are using the little tow behind raft and they're enjoying the day. They're sitting back and just having a few cold ones and uh, enjoying the raft. Yeah. My daughter's infatuated by the little river critters. Everybody else is just chilling on the bank, we're eating some lunch. And my brother's old town, he's got a Discovery 158 as well. And he's already got a set of seats, and they work out pretty good as far as comfort factor. I'm to split on the river. We're just about the Virginia, West Virginia line. We're down uh, north of the uh, Route 7 Bridge, about a mile. And there's a little island split here, and we stopped over for lunch. We're going to be heading down the river. We'll be taking out at uh, Weirsville, I think it is. It's not too far. It's about 10 miles down the river from where we put in. We put in just north of uh, Watermelon Park in a private campground up there. And uh, probably throw the pole in for a few minutes, finish the lunch. Uh, actually, there's a little mini split right in front of us. It's coming in. It's coming in from right there at the left, and we're on a second split. It's joining it, and the main stem is behind us. And so we're kind of like on a left hand split, two of them right here. And there's one, and we're on the second one, and the main stem is going on the left of the trees here on the youth on there right now. Alright, this is Earl from Virginia, and Dr. Jenna. And I'll see you later. I'm nice. Is it fun, too?
journey. Just come to a little rock shelf through here. And we just missed out on a big fish. I mean, it might have been a muskie, but it cut a line right at the boat. It was doing pretty decent. Nice little rock bar. My brother's on down the river. And I don't think we're too far from our takeout point. But try to get a little fishing in here. A little bit of rapids coming up. And probably ain't got about a mile to go yet. Beautiful section of the river. We just seen an eagle about a quarter mile back. Couldn't get it on tape. It was flying off too fast, but seen it. Seen a couple blue herrings. Not a bad day on the river. Beautiful weather. A little breeze here and there. It's not too hot. Didn't do too good on the fish, but we didn't try real hard either. So we're just out here to have fun. First time we've been in a canoe about a year and a half. So. Actually, almost two years. And it's the first time that my daughter Jenna's been on a ride. All right, I gotta buckle up. We got some rap. See y'all. to that. There's my Jeep up on the hillside, so we're in the right spot. This is the last stretch we'll be getting out here. I think roughly we went about 10 mile river miles. We were just south of the Route 7 bridge, about a half mile. And we floated down the river, pretty good stretch. Nice scenery along the way. Got to see an eagle, nice peaks in the background like that one right there. There's the canoe crew with the floating tube set up in the back. <laughs> what Uncle Jar call them? Ding Dong One and Ding Dong Two or something like that. So uh, my daughter's getting tired. It's been a long day. It's been fun. And it's been two years since it's been on the river, so talk to y'all later, man. We gotta get the get our boats out. It is the end of the day. Jenna wanted to go fishing, so we came fishing. We already caught two little catfish and a perch. This will be my exit video, but it's actually where we started, which is a private campground. Which is a private, private campground just uh, north of Watermelon Park. And getting some last minute fishing in before we head back home. And hopefully, we'll go home and listen to the race today. Beautiful day out here. It's been a beautiful all day. There's all kinds of people down at the river for the holiday weekend. And I'll share y'all with you. My wife's been the lucky dog on the fishing today. She just caught three fish here in the last 20 minutes. But beautiful day on the river. Talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the film. Right, one last piece of footage. How many of you guys can say that your wifey goes with you to go fishing and she actually enjoys it? 
She's the catch of the day. <laughs> Mommy's the big fisher for the day, isn't she, Jen Jen? Yeah. Yeah. Getting towards dusk. We're gonna be heading out of here soon. As soon as my brother packs up his gear, he was camping here for the night. And uh, this will probably be our last shots from the river. Caught a few little fish here on the bank. A couple small catfish and perch too. And we had a good day. It's been a beautiful day on the river. And uh, all kinds of people are gearing up for the night. I guess they're listening to the race and a couple other oddball things. But this is it. I'll see y'all later. Have a good night. Join the film. Enjoy your weekend. And uh, thanks to all you veterans out there that gave time to serve and to ser uh, serve your time to protect this country and to give us all the freedoms we have. Appreciate it for those that are currently serving, those that served in the past, and those who passed away trying to serve for the country. Thank you all. Bye.